For today's welding assignment, we are going to try a, a lap joint. Lap joint is, just as we talked about, two overlapping pieces. These pieces are two inch long, and they're offset each other about a half an inch. So we're gonna tack this together like that. When we tack these together, we're going to try and tack on these corners, right here and right here. This will allow us to weld the entirety of the joint and also get the back side. And when we weld the front side, the heat won't pull it away, so we can't weld the back side. So again, we're going to tack inside corners. We are also going to weld the front long side with 7018. And then this short side, I want you to do a 6010 weld. So we are going to adjust our amperage from weld one to weld two on the lap joint. With 7018 eighth inch electrode, we're going to weld about 105 to 125 amps. Really, wherever you can keep it close without sticking, uh, that's where you want to keep your amperage at. For the 6010, I would still recommend about 85 amps on this particular one where the butt joint, we did about 80 amps. All right, let's gear up. All right, so now we've got our gear on, we're ready to weld. We're gonna make sure, again, that we're at about 115 amps and that our dig is set at 30. Back to the main amperage, 115. We've got our stinger ready to go. We've got our metal, we're gonna go ahead and tack up. When we weld the lap joint, we're gonna try and maintain a 45 degree angle into the joint and just a slight drag down the joint, all right? And again, you can go left to right or right to left, whatever your hand preference is. Always make sure that you are pulling the electrode along or dragging it. Remember, if there's slag, you drag. Always having that backwards angle, okay? So again, about a 45 degree and then kick back and pull it along. Uh, our same method of pushing in still works, right? If I am leaned back here and I push straight down, I still travel along the joint. What we're trying to get is a nice even weld from the top to the bottom. We don't want a belly to form. And we don't want to chomp this edge too much. We want it to be nice and smooth and consistent. All right, because we offset the plate a little bit, we may not use the whole electrode, but we're still gonna get pretty close to using that whole electrode. There's the lap joint. You can see the burr from the shear. That's what this little edge is right here. Had I ground that burr off before I welded, it wouldn't have been there. Now let's go ahead and do the 6010 side. When we do 6010, you're going to turn your amperage down to about 85 but turn that dig up to 70. It's just gonna be a short, quick spit. You won't need a full electrode for this, but you can utilize a, a shorter rod. All right, that was pretty quick. There's the 6010 side. You can see the nice little whipping paws. 
And you just want to wrap that corner just a little bit to kind of tie those two welds together. The main thing on welding the lap joint is making sure that you switch your amperages between 6010 and 7018, as well as your dig. Understanding how to navigate the controls on the welder really makes you a better welder. Once your amperages are set correctly for the rod you want to use, just try and be as smooth and steady as possible. The smoother you are, the smoother your bead's going to be. All right, good luck on the lap joint. I'm going to try and start in that crater, fill it up, and again, work my way along. So I'm going to switch hands. You see the 6010 weld tied in to the 7018 weld. Again, that burr left on the top is what you're seeing right there. Could be a little bit steadier in some spots, but that is your lap joint. 